I'm Richard Oldner and welcome to the channel. And here's the question for today. How much is a camshaft upgrade worth on a five liter Ford? Would you believe the answer is, it depends? In this video, we're gonna take a look at a comparison between a factory five liter HO cam and an extreme energy 274 cam from Comp Cams, but not just on one combination. We're gonna test it on two different combinations to illustrate the following point. The gains that you get from any camshaft upgrade, whether it's a Ford or Chevy or Dodge import, doesn't matter. The gains that you get from that camshaft are actually dictated by the combination that you're testing it on. So on a milder combination, the gains might be less than they are on a wilder combination. Let's check it out. To illustrate that the power gains offered by a cam swap on a 5 liter Ford are going to be dependent on the test motor, I'm going to show you what happens when we went from the factory 5 liter Ford cam to the Extreme Energy 274 cam on two different combinations. And here's what happens. If you have a combination that is mild, for instance, one that's equipped with stock heads like this combination and has a mild intake manifold, in this case it's a G GT40, which is certainly better than the factory 5 liter, but not as good as a lot of other intake combinations. So if you have that combination and we do a cam upgrade going from the stock cam to the Extreme Energy 274 cam, the gains on that combination are going to be less than they would be on the second combination that already has a lot of other things going for it. So in that combination, we have free flowing cylinder heads and a much better intake manifold. So basically all that's missing is the camshaft. So when we do a cam upgrade on that, the gains will be much higher from the same cam upgrade because it all depends on the combination. So let's take a look at this first test and I'll show you what happened when we did the cam upgrade going from the stock camshaft to the Extreme Energy 274 cam on this mild combination. And this was a 302, although it had been bored over, been bored 30 over. This one even had forged pistons in it because we were eventually going to run and boost on it. It had forged flat top pistons. It even had forged rods in it. It had a stock crank and a stock late model hydraulic roller block. We had factory E7TE, the factory iron uh, small block heads. Nothing had been done to them other than they had they had a valve job done, so they were basically in stock trim. We did do a spring upgrade, which allowed us to run this bigger camshaft with the stock heads. And then we ran a, uh, we topped this off with a GT40 intake. We ran a Holly HP management system. This combination also had the, uh, long tube hooker inch and five eighths headers and uh, extensions on those as we saw with a with the collector extension test we know how important that is but basically this was a stock headed 302 flat top piston with a gt40 intake stock heads and then we ran it with the stock five liter camshaft optimized the power and timing and all that stuff and run with the stock ho camshaft this combination produced 279 horsepower out here at 53 or 5400 and then made 323 foot pounds of torque again with the gt40 manifold and we had a 70 millimeter acufab throttle body on this so here's what happened when we replaced the factory ho camshaft with the extreme energy 274 and I'll go ahead and put the specs up here for the 274. You know, it's the mid 500 lift, 224, 232 at 50, and the 112 degree lobe separation. And I'll put the exact specs up here so you can take a look at that. And that's the camshaft that we'll be using for this combination and also for the slightly wilder combination where we got even bigger gains. But going from the factory HO camshaft, to the Extreme Energy 274, the power jumped up from 279 horsepower to a peak of 312 horsepower. I know that we also increased the engine speed where the motor made peak power, but not by a lot. We didn't shift it by like a thousand RPM. All of a sudden this didn't turn out with this intake manifold and, and stock heads. Putting this much camshaft in it, going from the factory cam to one that's a 224, 232, didn't shift the power peak out to 6,000 RPM. It only changed it by a couple of hundred RPM. We were now making peak power at, well, only a hundred RPM. We went from 5,400, we went from 5,300 to 5,400. So something else was already determining where this thing wanted to make peak power. And that's the stock head. And probably most importantly, that GT40 intake. Peak torque was up as well with this camshaft. 
to 349 foot-pounds of torque, and we made more power than the stock cam starting at about 3,000, which is where the load was. Now, we, we would expect there to be maybe a slight loss down at 2,000 or, or even 2,500. There's going to be a um, trade-off point, but not by a lot. This, this 224 cam actually works fairly well on this combination, even with the stock head. So run with this. We picked up power uh, from 279 horsepower to 312 horsepower. So now let's take a look and see how much power we gain from the same camshaft on a slightly wilder combination. After taking a look at the 274 Extreme Energy uh, cam upgrade on our milder combination, now let's take a look at one that offers a lot more power potential and find out what the same cam upgrade does on that combination. So this combination was, again, a 302. It was a rebuilt short block. It had uh, it didn't have forged pistons in it. It just had cast pistons, uh, cast rods, uh, a stock crank. Again, a 302 hydraulic roller block. We ran it with the factory HO camshaft. This one had uh, other other things that would improve the power potential of the camshaft and by that I mean we had uh, much more head flow and a much better intake manifold than the previous combination where the previous combination had the GT40 EFI intake manifold this one was run carbureted and that in itself isn't the major power gain but the style of intake manifold this performer RPM carbureted intake can make more power than the GT40 does. And we'll be seeing a direct comparison of that later on in another video after we run those tests. But that intake manifold can make more power than the GT40 does. And then the big thing was really the cylinder heads where we ran the stock cylinder heads on the previous combination. This one was equipped with a set of blueprint aluminum ASCAS 190 cc heads. And those flow about 240 CFM according to the guys at Blueprint, which would put it a good 70 to 80 CFM more than the factory heads. We also, on this combination, had slightly bigger headers, although I don't, don't know how much extra power that would make, but they were inch and three quarter with bigger collector extensions, and we have a video up. You can check out that video on the effect of collector length extension, as well as a video up on other camshafts that we ran on this combination. But the important thing to note is that this motor had basically everything else going for it. It had plenty of, it had a, a 750 carburetor, it had a good intake manifold, it had lots of head flow, it had good headers. It had everything that it needed and really the only thing that it was missing was the camshaft. So what we'll see when we run the same cam upgrade on this combination with everything going for it, the gains that we get from that camshaft are going to be higher than they were on the milder combination. And this is kind of the way it goes for not just a Ford, but everything Ford. Chevy, Dodge, imports, all of that stuff. The better the things are that you have on the combination or the bigger that the motor is, the greater the gains from any single component. So on this camshaft, we ran the our carbureted 302 with all of those things that I mentioned, with, first with the factory camshaft. And equipped with a stock camshaft, our modified combination, and this should give you a pretty good idea on what the power potential is all on these other parts, but this combination produced 368 horsepower, 369 horsepower, and 364 foot-pounds of torque. So the combination did very well, even with a stock camshaft. This thing would idle nice and drive around because it has a stock camshaft in it. But here's what happened when we installed our 274 Extreme Energy Cam. You can see the peak power jumped up to 417 horsepower, which really from peak to peak gave us a gain of 49 horsepower. So you remember from the previous example on the milder combination, the camshaft was worth 33 horsepower. Now it's worth 49 horsepower. So, so how much is a cam upgrade really worth? Again, as we're showing here, it depends greatly on whatever you're testing it on. Is it, Are the rest of the components able to take advantage of what this cam has to offer? And, and honestly, we've made a lot more power than this with that camshaft. The camshaft isn't limited here. If we were to run this on a 347 or a 351 or a 393 or a 427, the camshaft can certainly make a lot more power if it has all of the other supporting things going on with it. And then therefore, when you do a camshaft upgrade from a stock cam to this kind of cam or any of the other camshafts, the gain that you get is definitely going to be a function of what you're testing it on. Let's get to our conclusion.
Okay guys, what do we learn from performing this camshaft upgrade on two different five liter combinations? Well, at the risk of sounding redundant, we learn the following thing. The gains that you get from the camshaft are not an absolute number. I get that all the time. People want to ask in the comments or send me emails and things like that. Well, how much can I get from this camshaft? Well, it depends on your combination and that's not what they want to hear. They want to hear an absolute number. Oh, you get 30 horsepower from this camshaft. Well, yeah, you can, but you can also get 10. You can also get more than 100, and I'll give you a good example of this, and then we'll show you some extreme examples of this and show you how you can get 100 to 300 horsepower from a cam swap. So the best example I have of this on the videos that I have up is on an LS application. We compare the stock uh, 5.3 liter LM7 truck cam to a good camshaft on a 408 stroker. Well, the 408 stroker had everything going for it, besides the camshaft. So we ran it with the stock camshaft, but it had plenty of displacement, it had plenty of compression, it had really good cylinder heads, a really good intake manifold, obviously long tube headers. It had everything going for it except the camshaft. So when we ran the stock camshaft and then gave it the camshaft that it needed for that 408, we picked up 175 horsepower. So does that mean a cam upgrade is worth 175 horsepower? No, not all of them. They won't always do that. Even that camshaft won't do that on other applications. But it did it on that 408. And the most extreme example was what happens if we compare a stock camshaft to the camshaft that they run in a pro stock motor or even wilder example would be a top fuel motor. Would we get two or 3,000 horsepower from the camshaft upgrade? You might, and that's, and that's the point of this kind of test. The numbers that you get or the gains that you get from any camshaft on any combination are going to vary directly with the test motor. I'm Richard Holder. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. More testing as always coming up.